guys, my name is Rose Serpent, and welcome to my channel. This is kind of a new thing I don't think I've ever done this before, where I've spoken over a speed paint, or the makings of a speed paint. Uh, and this can only go south, seeing how uh, one I've got my dog and two cats locked in the bedroom with me. My boyfriend is downstairs playing video games. Uh, yeah, I think this could go south. <laughs> But at least this isn't a live stream and I can edit this and not make a complete and utter fool of myself. So anyways, um, welcome to this video. I don't know what to call it. I'm not too sure. I guess I'll just call it the makings of the Forgotten Temple. Yeah, because that's what the speed paint will be, is called the Forgotten Temple. Um, so basically what you're watching is a semi-edited version of the speed paint that'll be coming out on the last Friday of the month. And what that means is is that uh, generally I'm going to only upload a speed paint once a month. Um, I said that a while ago. Things got really, really hectic with work and uh, with just life in general. Uh, and I got to this point of being completely and utterly miserable and really, really depressed. And very, 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 very fucking stressed. I don't know how I'm alive right now. <laughs> um, so generally, it just everything seemed to have gotten gone downhill after I moved. Um, and I, I haven't. I don't think I've really released a video uh, since I moved. Honestly, I think I made a notion that I was going to be moving um, and that I was going to change the upload schedule, but I don't think I ever. Uh, upload a video after I moved. Maybe I did, I don't know. But I moved in March. That was when I moved, was in March. Um, the house is really nice. I love it to pieces. It's a very beautiful home. Um, not a fan of my landlord and not a fan of all the other things that have gone on since the move. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail about it, but uh, yeah, it just became really stressful. <laughs> Um, so, the reason why this video is being made is because I was actually suggested to make this video. And I thought, well, why the hell not? It would put out more content in a month. Uh, and it, would be a, it wouldn't be too much more work than what I already did. Because I already edited this video. Fully edited it. And I've got it exported and it's set to upload at the end of the month. On the last Friday. So... It's not too much extra work, it's just I slowed down the video a bit, I took off the end image, and I removed the music. So it's not that much more. Um, and of course there's no video edits that I did in the speed paint. So you would actually have to watch the speed paint to get the entire feel of the video itself. So, these characters are Shadow and Irene. Um, these are characters from when I was five years old. Like, I was not, uh, 13 or anything. I made these characters when I was five. Um, to keep it short, really, the main reason why I created so many characters as a five-year-old was I was really, really lonely, and I was dealing with a lot of abuse, uh, in, in school by teachers and my peers. So, I created these characters so I would have friends and have something that was nice and that I could... Con have some sort of control over and that's what really got me started into character creation and I've got so many more characters other than these two but uh, the story be between Shadow and Irene uh, and I know these names are so fucking basic but keep in mind I was five I was really big into Sonic and I was really big into pirates and all sorts of other things not so much pirates but a lot of other things yeah uh, I lived where pirates were the theme, actually. But anyway, so, uh, Shadow was my very first original character. The very first one I ever created in my life. I actually wrote so many stories over her. And it was really stupid because I've got maybe seven journals hidden in my house that I don't think Alex knows about. <laughs> so, I've got seven journals hidden in this house somewhere that, uh, just are stories of Shadow. So... Yeah, she's, Shadow is 15. She's been 15 since I was 5, so that would be, damn, she'd be about 36 coming up soon, <laughs> technically, in, in our technical terms, but since it's fiction, she's 15. 
Um, Shadow is the daughter of the goddess of Cyrene, and Cyrene is their planet where they, they live on and everything. Cyrene isn't too much different from Earth. It's, it's drastically different, but it's kind of the same. Uh, but anyway, so, goddess, get up. Shadow's the granddaughter of the goddess, uh, Oklar Cyrene, and Shadow was frozen in time as a baby. She was born in these forgotten temples, um, and she, her mother fought in the first war of their planet, and, uh, Shadow at 15 has been expected to do a lot of things, just a lot more than what normal people would do, do. She's not supposed to have any sort of emotion or uh, any sort of connections with people, which later on in the story she kind of does. And it, t it gives her character. Um, the reason why Shadow wears so many metal bands is when you're royal in this on this planet, uh, it shows that you have strength. They're really, really heavy. They're not light at all. They're not uh, fake metal or anything. They're very thick metal that is just so heavy. So, over time, they would wear, uh, even as small children, they would wear at least one or two bands on each limb, uh, even on their necks or their heads, and it would cause this extra weight, and it would help them build strength. Um, and that's how they were determined to be a true leader, is how many metal bands they can carry. Um, and Shao being 15, she doesn't quite have full bands, but she's farther ahead than her siblings, who have little to none. Uh, so, Shadow, and of course Shadow's adopted in this. Uh, she was adopted into a royal family, gifted by the goddess, so of course she was adopted in this family. So, uh, anyways, so Shadow is prophesized as sort of like a messiah, almost. Irene, on the other hand, she is a pirate's captain. She inherited her ship and crew and everything passed down from generation to generation to generation. Um, Irene's family did not fight in the first war. However, her first ancestor was the lover of the goddess of course, Irene. And so he became a god over time because he was murdered uh, by another god. And uh, she felt pitiful and lonely and she wanted him have a life, so she brought him back as a god. Uh, anyway, so, but Irene, her family basically are just pirates. They've always been pirates. They've never been anything else but sailors, um, and they hunt for treasure. They aren't really all for war and fighting, though she does have an ancestor who was a very um, spontaneous woman who liked to fight and shoot people. However, Irene does not do that. They are treasure hunters, so they don't usually seek out for, like, all the treasure chests and everything. What they really look for is historical lost parts. And the reason why they look for these historical parts that have been lost in time is because they're the most valuable thing. They can rub into your face, hey, we got this, or hey, we know where this is, and nobody can say or do anything because they've got it. It's... They're proving their wealth by having something that no one else can really get a hold of. You can get a hold of gold coins anywhere, but can you get a hold of a, a forgotten compass that was a part of a key point in the lost war and the wars? No, you really can't. You can make a copy of it, but you can't get the original that actually has magical powers. <laughs> so with Irene, the metal chest plate is meant to protect her, not chest plate, but the, um, shoulder plates is meant to protect her collarbone and neck in her family they have a uh, history with guns and so a lot of people would actually shoot her ancestors in the collarbone or the neck and so forth so they would they learn to cover their collarbones so as to avoid breakage uh, usually generally speaking they would have some sort of armor on over their chest as well but since they don't really care. They're sailing and such. They don't really care. At this point in time, it's become a fashion statement with Irene. In the past, it was more so something to protect themselves. Um, Irene, uh, 
though they don't really have ethnicities like we do, like African American or uh, Asian or Mexican, we don't really have ethnicities. They don't really have ethnicities like this. They do have origins, and these origins are different characteristics in their genetic code. Um, which is kind of the same thing as what we have, except it's not different continental pieces. It's just genetic. That's it. No, there's no continents that contain a mass amount of this race. Um, so Irene definitely has characteristics of an Asian woman. Uh, that was something I did, I changed when I was... 13 or 14, I became more interested in having a wider range of characteristics instead of a generic one. So I shifted her character a slight bit for that. Um, I've done that with other characters as well. But anyway, so the Forgotten Temple is a lost treasure in history for their planet. It was the original worship center for the gods. This was where the gods first touched their planet when they walked among the, the ground. So Forgotten Temple was a ground where different kingdoms built monuments of stone, as you can tell in the background here. And uh, these monuments were really simple because back then it was, you know, really simple times. So they didn't really know how to do much. And so this was when the gods were teaching them how to do things themselves. They were basically spoon feeding these people until they just couldn't do it no more. <laughs> So these were their monuments, um, and believe it or not, the platform that they're standing on is magic. It leads from the surface to the below, which it was later on it, uh, created because they closed it off. Hex closed it off uh, as Shadow's mother. She closed it off initially with this magic plate um, to camouflage and hide the caverns for the Forgotten Temple. Um, so it was a way of protecting history and herself, which got breached eventually, but, you know. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this was kind of, I don't know if this was short or not, but, yeah, that was that. I don't usually like watching videos like this, but, um, uh, I guess if you guys like this, let me know. Um, leave a comment, uh, like the video, and subscribe, I guess. Um, and feel free to ask questions if you want. I do plan on doing more um, original characters uh, as speed paints as well. I really enjoyed doing that. I miss doing that a lot.